think for years we've known that, the, that there's a clear relationship between getting blood transfusions during bypass surgery in this study particularly and the uh, outcome, mortality rates. What has been in question for many years is what is the actual cause of that relationship. Is it the transfusion itself causing some problem in a variety of ways? Or is it just the fact, as we showed today, that there really is a difference in the patient populations when you look at them? The patients who wind up getting transfused ultimately are generally sicker, and so on that basis, you might expect that they would not do as well. Uh, the discretionary part comes in where if we look at a number of studies that have been done over the years, the transfusion rates vary from hospital to hospital, and they do so in a range that starts somewhere down in the low teens. Uh, some centers will transfuse literally you know, 15, 20 percent or less of their patients, whereby, whereas others will transfuse upwards of 80 or 90 percent of their patients. So not all blood transfusions are discretionary, and I'm certainly not my job to tell any individual when they should or shouldn't give blood, but the discrepancy between a, a rate in the low teens and a rate in the low 90 percentile would suggest that at least a fair number of those blood transfusions are discretion, discretionary in a sense, or at least may not be necessary. I think the, the message should be that you should approach the use of blood transfusion very judiciously. Uh, I mean, th there's a fair amount of evidence that relates it to poor outcomes. There's not a whole lot of evidence that suggests it's very good to get blood transfusions. If someone has a gunshot wound or is exsanguinating or in some other circumstance, clearly that's a very real indication for giving blood and maybe giving blood in large volumes if necessary. Uh, but as we discussed a moment ago, it's clear that at least a fair percentage of blood that is given during cardiac surgery uh, is done on the basis of what an individual believes is necessary without a whole lot of scientific knowledge necessarily to support it.